Hey folks, many of you are going to get your Gravity Hook 3.0 soon. And when you do, inside your box, you're going to have a little slip of paper from me. And you're also going to get a bag of parts, which has a bag of hardware parts within it, and of course, a little sticker. So let's do this in real time so that we can address any problems you might have along the way. Within this little hardware bag, you're going to have one shackle, three nuts over here, three bolts over there, and then a locking pin. And then your parts will include three linkages, a cross piece, and then three hammers. Now, the hammers are already in a particular order. If you look, this one's kind of faint, but there's a blue mark on the center cross piece, or at the center hammer rather. And you want to keep that hammer in that position because I had to drill out this locking pin hole. Now if you've already mixed up the order of your hammers, one way to tell which one is which is by looking inside the locking pin holes. On this front one, you can see that there's a burn mark from the laser, but the center one will not have a burn mark because it's been drilled out. So let's get this thing together. Let's start by taking our center, cro or center hammer, flipping it over, and then putting it back in the middle, just like that. And then we're going to take one of our bolts and put it through the upper hole. Just like that. Take our nut and put it on there loosely. Now we're going to move on to our linkages. You want to make sure that the linkage with the spring is in the middle, right? And they're going to be facing the opposite direction. So you have your cross piece with or the linkage with the keyhole. That one's going to go on top. And then you're going to have your spring facing to your right. And then you're going to have your plain hole linkage in the back. You're going to be looking just like this. Take your shackle. Remove the bolt. And then place it all together. Just like this. All right, now what we're gonna do is open up our linkages. And we're gonna take one and put it just like this. And the other one's going to go on the other side. We're going to match them up. So let's open up our center linkage, move it over. There we go. Put that just like that. Come on, you. There it goes. Then we're going to put our nut on. Now we're going to take our other linkage, line it up, get our nut and our bolt. There we go. Now when I put this together, I always like the nuts to be on the same side as the bolt for the shackle, so I'm going to take that out and flip it over. There we go. Perfect. Now to tighten up the bolts. What you're going to need is a 7 16 wrench and a socket. And we're going to tighten these up all the way. And then we're going to back them off one quarter turn. There we go. All the way tight. And then back off a quarter turn. So I'm at 6 o'clock, I'm going to go back to 3.
There we go. And there is your 3.0 built. You can insert the cross piece and then place your locking pin in there. And that's not going to go anywhere. To take it out, you're going to simply depress the locking wedge, if you guys can see it, and you're going to push it out. And when you store it, you're going to put it in, sorry about that, you're going to put it into the keyhole side first. And that way, when it's time to use your pin again, you're going to depress the wedge, pop it out, and then you can line it up with the keyhole so it comes right out. Now let me show you a knot you can use to get this working well. All right. So there's several different knots. You can do a figure eight like they use in climbing. I like to use a ring hitch, which is just one full coil around the shackle. And then we're gonna go around the back of the rope and then through the coils that we just made. There we go. Now this end needs to be just long enough so that you can poke it in right here in between the linkages so that you hold it open further if you have an object that is already pretty wide, right? But if you don't have that, you can leave it out. Again, remember that the 2.0 is held open just a little bit. If you want, you can adjust your spring in here so that it closes even more. But this one is meant for a larger item, so here's our pipe wrench. Let's go down here and pick it up. Good enough. All right, folks, so thanks for tuning in and Stay tuned for the XL assembly.